All right, what's going on, Kings? We've got some Mech Knight memes here for you. Um, so this is, of course, Mech Knight versus Elric. Me and my buddy Mike playing. Uh, this is actually one of Mike's first times ever playing Elric, so uh, he's kind of trying to get his uh, bearings with the deck. Uh, so just quickly would like to point out uh, that stack of unsleeved cards is actually his extra deck. Uh, from his Ancient Warriors deck. So that's how early in the stages of this build we are. We don't really even have an extra deck built. This is actually like a pure Eldic deck. So, uh, But anyway, he opens pretty unoptimally. He just sets two and passes. So I go for Girsu, send Chalice. He strikes it whenever I try to make the tokens. Uh, and honestly, not really too sure why he didn't just strike um, the first effect too. But anyway, I go ahead and make a column here and then I summon out a yellow star. Uh, then I go ahead and use the yellow star, banishing uh, Gearsu's cost here in a moment. He's just kind of ask, asking how the work, how the card works. Um, so I go ahead and use yellow star. Uh, he actually has a gamma in his hand. That's a little, it's cut off there, but yeah, he plays gamma. Um, he kind of has to gamma here because otherwise he'll never get to use the back row. And he's trying to keep me off um, Morning Star as well. He's trying to get as many mech names off the board as possible. But I do have the the Green Horizon here. Uh, but Pank, of course, is nuts in this situation because it's we're, we're already so simplified uh, just because his opening was pretty lackluster. So, you know, Green Horizon, punch into Gamma, leave the driver to be banished so you can never use it again. And then I just kind of pass it to him. It's rather unfortunate that uh, Green Horizon has to be in the same column as whatever he's attacking because I was really wanting to recur the Yellow Star. But... Um, I didn't have another spell to make a column, so a spell a trap rather, but I yeah, kind of just left it. So Mike's kind of thinking here, he's just already in a really bad spot, honestly. Um, I forget exactly what happens here. Uh, Golden Lord effect, yeah, ditch Golden Lane forever. Um, I think at this point he was playing two of this. I think after this game he took one of them out. Uh, like I said, he's still tweaking this build. It's, I mean, it's pure Eldritch, so there's really only so much I can go into it. But we'll have it on the channel once he gets it kind of squared away. Um, so Golden Lord F Chain Panker Tops because he's targeting the back row uh, with the Golden Lord. That's so crazy that his effect is just to send one card, like not face up, not like monster, just one card. It's nuts. So I go ahead and pank his back row. Uh, it was a judgment, which is kind of why he was trying to hold on to it there, because it's you know it's Omni Negate effectively, um, and this is why you know the the strike could have saved him and Ash, but also I'm kind of just like, well, it doesn't fucking matter anyway, because he just has it all. Um, but he, he he has it all, like he has all the answers, but like he doesn't have a play. So um, you know this is probably the main reason why a lot of people like to mix uh, this archetype with with things. You know, with uh, like invoked and shit. So he golden lane forever there. Um, Dynamiscus. Go ahead and uh, do the the whole banish your golden lord meme so that he can get off that. We don't have to deal with it anymore. And then uh, punch with green horizon. Set a back row. You know that fucking Dynamiscus was crazy right there. Uh, X drive is nuts off the top. That's kind of like what he needed here. Uh, but I don't think it draws him to anything good. And that's just kind of me, like, memeing the fact that it's a fucking Ancient Warriors extra deck. Um, so, yeah, he banishes six, he draws two. And I think, like I said, it's really lackluster still. I think he gets to another Golden Lord. Now he has Summon Limit here. So he flips Summon Limit. I go for purple. Uh, get gear two. I think he just scoops, actually. Because it's kind of just over. Yeah, he just scoops up. It's pretty much just done. Um, the purple comes back. Doesn't count towards summon limit because it's returning to the field. You know, uh, it's just... I'm going to set up, like, just Morningstar. And then kind of just tell him to fucking suck my dick, basically. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, that memory and end phase was nuts. I just kind of <clears throat> had the upper hand that whole game because he just opened very poorly. So this uh, five card hand is already insane. My six card is even better. Um, the Phantasme was uh, stuck in my hand all last game. So that was pretty dirt. So I get Lightning Storm off the top here. He flips Summon Limit in standby. I go main phase Lightning Storm. He quickly realizes that he was sh should have been playing around this Lightning Storm by going Hakero Golden Land. So I'm like, oh yeah, 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 that's fine. But then I take a look at my hand. I'm like, wait a minute. I have the outplay for that. Uh, so 
we have the hot take backs here, but it was just kind of him going like, ah, uh, fuck, I misplayed. And then I was like, oh yeah, sure, you can do that. And then I took a look at my hand again. I was like, oh no, fuck you. Kaiju Lightning Storm, slam the gear suit down. Uh, just pretty much go like full mech combo, if you will. Um, I will say I don't have enough to kill him here. So we go live, set succession, play purple, get blue, get red, play red, uh, pop the token. I originally popped the game seal. I'm like, wait a minute, no, pop the token, pop the token. Because whenever I go link here for Morningstar, I shuffle the kaiju back in my deck just so that I can have it still. I feel like it'd be a little more optimal to do that. So Morningstar pits an extra purple, go get secret. And then we succession back the purple because we, you know, it's only the restrictions only uh, from hand. You can only summon, especially summon it from hand once per turn, but I can summon it back from grave if I want. Uh, so punch, punch, punch on all these guys. It's like um, 63, I think is what it is. And then we go key, and I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm chilling. I got the gear suit back on my hand. It'd like negate all of his traps. There's not shit he can do. Um, so he goes, Hakero. He's going to go ahead and set, uh, I think he gets Sanguine here. I think I said that. It's a Golden Land, right? Yeah. Pretty sure he gets Sanguine here. <clears throat> He's kind of thinking, though, because, like, he has one card in hand still. So, he's kind of just trying to weigh his options. He gets Black Awakening. Just so he can guarantee access to Golden Lord. I think that's what the idea was there. Oh, fucking tired. I'm doing this at like 6 a.m. Anyway, so he draws off the top. Uh, takes, a, takes a peek. Sees what he's working with here. Um, I think he doesn't even end up using the Black Awakening. I think he ends up drawing. I think he drew Golden Lord for turn. So he sends Hakero so he can not, like fuck off with the um, World Legacy Key. He's not really trying to deal with that. So he goes Golden Lord. He's reading Morningstar before he decides where the Golden Lord's going. He's like, oh, yeah, this fucking thing's going to shaft me. Because he's played against this deck a lot, but even he still forgets about uh, Morningstar's effect. It's really funny. So he punches uh, punches into him. So I think I go purple here. And then we just banish the, the Morningstar to protect it. And we search Indigo, because that's kind of like the missing piece that we don't have here. And I think he redeclares on Crimson. I'm not really too sure... But, like, it really doesn't matter, because even at this stage in the game, I'm just like, okay, well, I have... He can crash with purple, that's fine. I have purple and Morningstar coming back next turn. So, uh, we're just going to have those two free bodies. Uh, if he leaves a purple, then we have another purple at our disposal. Um, you know, our back row is secret, so that's recursion there as well. Uh, he goes and sets... <sighs> Christ, he goes and sets Conquistador here. Which is fine, because he's like just trying to, you know, get as much resources as he can. He gets a Sanguine. He just shotguns a Sanguine from just like the get-go. He's just like, yeah. Draw face. Sanguine. Get Golden Lord in defense mode. Stand by. The purple comes back. I actually forgot about the Morning Star. And he's like, no, you get that guy too. Um, so. Uh, I think, I don't, remember, I don't remember what I was explaining to him there. But anyway. Uh, summon Indigo. Effect to move. And then it's purple effect. And then I go get Blue Sky. And there's not really like a whole ton of options left. For me to search out this Blue Sky. But I get this Yellow Star. And then I'm kind of thinking still on what the other one's going to be. Uh, I end up putting the deck down. Looking at the back row. Just making sure I got everything squared away. And I go back and get another purple. Because I kind of just decided. Yeah, three purples in rotation is really good. So we go overlay here for Ding. Because the ding is the counter, just like the complete counter to his board here. So yeah, we can go negate the destruction of Conquistador, send one of the Golden Lords, the defense position Golden Lord, and then I could um, make Lib, and then I could shuffle away the other one and just attack for game. And it's just over here. So yeah, the um, ding seals the deal. I show him the hand, he scoops it up, and that's the game. That lightning storm was crazy, crazy good. The fact that I had the, the, the game of seal 2 was crazy good. But yeah, that's uh, all I got, Sims. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.